Hello, good evening. Hello, Rufino. Hello, Luis Alonso. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis Alonso. Nice to see you. What happened to you yesterday? Um, yesterday, I could not connect, but happy. Um, it was impossible because of the rain. We were without uh, internet until today at 9 a.m. My goodness. Yes, we have too many problems. We have no power, no internet, no nothing. So incommunicated. Incommunicated, yes. Uncommunicated, uncommunicated. Very good. Uncommunicated. Well, I'm glad to see you today. But and uh, I am here. Uh, yeah. Did you have time to watch the video? Yes, For the yes. Class? Okay, okay. Yes, sure. that's great. I watch. Well, glad to see you, Lisa. Um, Rufino, how are you today? Uh, I a little bit tired, but tired, I'm tired. happy. But I am happy. Thursday, yeah. I am happy Thursday. Today. Yes. <laughs> we made it. Yes, it's mm -hmm. Thursday. That we're gonna go over the final. But before we go over the final, we're gonna take a time to summer to learn learn how to summarize and um, uh, seeing the point of view of a reading. So we're gonna, we're gonna be fun. And uh, also I'm gonna go over either and neither. Remember you asked me uh, about that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go over either and neither. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more explanation about how to use it from different point of view, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Patricia, Veronica, how are you? Fine. Excellent. Well, it's, uh, it's, time for, it's dinner time, huh? <laughs> um, hmm. Churros. <laughs> churros. <laughs> no, it's okay. cena. <laughs> okay. it's, it's just a snack. Snack. Yeah. Snack. Yeah, okay, snack. It's snack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, churros and, and mm -hmm. lemon. Thank huh? Um, no, platanitos. No, platanitos. Zambos. You don't put any lemon. <laughs> Zambos. Oh, ok, very good. Ya, hoy ya le hizo, ve Jenny, ya hizo un comercial. Yeah. Yeah, Zambos. Yeah, very good. And how are you today, Jenny? Are you hot? Yes. Oh Isn't that rainy where you are? Uh, yes, it's, it's raining, but uh, I am, no. I have closed my house. The windows and, and <laughs> doors and everything is closed. Yes, because yesterday uh, the la lluvia entró uh -huh. por la puerta principal. Oh my goodness! Sin eh, tocar se digo? metió. <laughs> sí, en, eh, ajá, entonces me tocó cerrar ahora. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. It's better to be prepared. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, okay, very good, excellent. Okay, Luis Enrique, how are you today, sir? Hi, sir. <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you, thank you. Okay, you look happy today. <laughs> you look very happy today, very good. I'm always happy. Very happy, because I'm very happy. This is the day, fin de clase, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Yes. I'm happy too. I'm happy. I'm happy for you guys. Okay, very good. All right, very good. And uh, uh, let's see, Andrea Renderos is there? Oh, Gabriela Cortez and Claudia Iraeta and Hidráulica S.A.D. I'm here, teacher. Yeah, what happened to your camera, Claudia? I'm here. For oh. that, um, yeah. I'm using, I'm using the computer of uh, my brother. Your brother's and, computer? Yes, I have a problem with camera. <laughs> oh, okay, you have a problem with camera. Okay. <laughs> All right, de verdad, de verdad, no se va a ir por otra parte. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, cuando le pregunte me contesta. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. 
Excellent. Okay, today um, we are going to complete this course and uh, we're going to go over the final. Some of you already finished it. But uh, if you have any questions regarding to any point in the in the exam, you are more than welcome to ask me. Okay, and um, we are also uh, going to have a review on neither and either. But before that, uh, we are going to read. Um, uh, uh, we're going to read a text, and we are going to summarize it. And we are going to uh, recognize uh, uh, the point of view. What is the text about? Okay, vamos a leer un texto y vamos a, a, a hacer una, un, un, un resumen y vamos también a reconocer y, y, el, de qué está hablando el texto. Okay, eso, eso es lo que se trata eh, la clase de hoy. Okay. Entonces, sin más que hacerlo, vamos a, a, al texto, a ver qué nos dice ese texto. En este caso tenemos a, a cell phone etiquette, yes, cell phone etiquette, son etiquette, etiquette son como etiquetas, que es lo que no tenemos que hacer nosotros cuando estamos uh, haciendo alguna cosa. En este caso, estamos en un restaurant, ¿qué es lo que no tenemos que hacer? Con el teléfono, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros nunca lo hacemos porque vamos a la pupusería, ¿verdad? <ríe> Pero los que van al, 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 allá al, al, a Tony Romans todos los fines de semana, eh, eso sí, tienen que aprender esto, etiquette, ¿verdad? Right? Ok, eh, vamos a tener a Rufino que nos lea el primer párrafo, eh, uh, the first paragraph, eh, then we're going to have a Patricia Verónica, the second paragraph, and we're going to have a Jenny Sánchez uh, reading off mean off and uh, Luis Alonso Rias keep private conversation <coughs> private and Estela hi Estela lady in red huh? <coughs> yes hi teacher <laughs> hi. okay Estela nos va a leer light off phone off y let's see tenemos a quien más um, Olivia Osorio pay attention y um, el último paragraph lo va a leer uh, Tatiana Pleites. Ok. Ok, go ahead, please. Is a culture bigger? Uh, uh, the bigger more, please. I don't see I. You don't <coughs> see it? Yeah, I don't see it. ¿Alguien más no lo ve? ¿Anybody? Is that Sí. Olivia, can you see the text? Yes, veo. Okay. Let me see. I hear the text. Oh, you 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 see the text? Okay. Can you see the text now? More or less. Uh, say, yes. Say, what do you, what do you do in situation like this? You're eating, you're eating dinner with mm -hmm. friends at a nice restaurant. Yes. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the at the table next to you, and then takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problem he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happened all the time. Um, buses, a restaurant, everywhere. Very good, good reading, yes. <clears throat> Next, please. Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives, but when I sat next to someone talking, talking too loudly on a cell phone, you may want to tell the 
low mode to end the conversation. But let the management take care of no sick cost, 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 customers. You can only you can only control your own labor. Here, here are a few rulers. Okay, I'm gonna help you because there are too many too many mistakes. Okay. Te voy a ayudar con la pronunciación y después okay. lo lees correctamente, ¿ok? Ok. Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives, but we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation. But uh, let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Okay. <laughs> Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we've all sat next to someone talking to load it loudly on a loudy, cell phone. Loudy. Loudy, okay. To loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the uh, loud mouth when loud mouth mouth como boca. Como boca. Mouth. No, boca no se dice to mouth, end. boca se dice mouth, loud mouth. Loud mouth. No, to mouth. Loud mouth. Mouth, boca, como se dice boca, mouth. <laughs> tranquila, tranquila, esa es una pr pr palabra no, diferente. Pues, sí, sí. Por eso lo estamos repitiendo. Eh, ¿sí? No, pero... Sí. ¿Ah? Pero me cuesta... Sí. Eh, sí ok. Sí. But let the management... No, no pasó loud mouth. Ah. <laughs> you may want to tell the loud mouth Ajá. to end the conversation. Muy bien. But let the man management... Let the management. Let the management take care of no sick customers. 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 You can you can only control your Eso sí, no sé, no me no recuerdo. Your... Control, control your own behavior. Control your own behavior. Control your, your behavior. own behavior. Control your own behavior. On. Here are a few rules. Control your Here. own behavior. Con control your own behavior. Bien, la V okay. tienes que morder los labios control. para decir behavior. Behavior o behave. Behavior o behavior. De las dos formas lo puedes decir. Si te sale mejor behavior. Lo puedes decir, o behavior. Behavior. Muy bien. ¿Está bien? Sí, perfecto. Okay. Here are, here are, here are a few rulers. Ruler. Rules. Here are a few rules. Very good. Good. Good job. Next, please. Sorry. <laughs> off means off. 
respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says turn off cell, cell phones, don't use your phone. Okay. Solo una palabra. Es public. 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 Public places. Public. Y public places. Sí, public places. Y eh, tengamos cuidado con las S al final. Eh, lo dice, respect the rules of restaurants and other public okay. places. Lo leo nuevamente. Por favor, please. Of means of. Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Yes. If the sign says, says, come on, says. Okay, very good. Says. Yes, says. Very good. Estuvo mejor. Thank you. Next, please. Keep private conversation private. Speak softly and for a short time, try to move away from other people. Very good. Solamente al principio. Keep private, private conversations, private. Private, private. 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 Yes. Conversation. Yes. Keep private conversations, private. Keep private conversation, private. Very good. Excellent. Next, please. Lights off. Phone, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Okay. Theater. Tienes que sacar la lengüita y decir theater. 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 Never take calls in a theater. Theater. Como una, la T es como R. Theater. Theater. Muy bien. Y, y la S en lights. Yeah. Lights off, on off. Lights off, phone off. Never calls in a theater or the movies. Very good. Excellent. It's better. Next, please. Pay attention. Talking on, on a cell phone while driving is dangerous and once where you are going when you are walking down the street and talking on the phone okay la palabra talk talking no no se ve con la l la l es muda en esa palabra entonces se, se oía de esa forma pay attention talking on a cell phone while, while talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Okay, leamos otra vez, please. Pay attention. Talking on the a cell phone while diving is dangerous and watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. No, no, no. Walking, no, la L no suena, ni talking tampoco, la L es muda. Leamos otra vez, please. Pay attention. Taking on a cell phone no, while. Espérame, hoy ya le cambiaste el sonido. Es pay attention. Talking on a cell phone Talking. while driving is dangerous. And watch where you are going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Pay attention, taking on a cell phone while diving, uh, se me olvidó, 
Diving es, Dri diving es, es cuando estás uh, así tirándote en la piscina, ese es dive. Esto es driving, driving, drive. Driving. Right. Pay attention. Talking on the cell phone while driving is dangerous. And once where you're going, the you're walking, wait, walking. <laughs> Si la L me dice working. Si empieza donde dice and watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Es como un trabalengua, ¿verdad? And watch where you are going the you're walking down the street and Taking on the on the phone and talking, talking on and the talking phone. on, the, on phone. the phone. Yes. Me lo puedes leer otra vez, por favor. Pay attention. Taking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch we we will you are going. When you're walking down the street and taking on the on the phone. Tuviste cuatro errores y no pasa la lectura. Lee el otro, te lo voy a leer otra vez. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going. When you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Pay attention. Taking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Okay, 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 good. Thank you. Next. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you are getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Okay, stop and consider the people around you. Stop, stop and consider. And consider. Sí, ten cuidado de no decir stop, porque no hay una stop. E ahí. Es stop and consider the people around you. Stop and consider the people around you. The people around you. The people around mm -hmm. you. Acuérdate que la palabra de no existe. Esa no existe en inglés. Es either the or the. Dependiendo si la, la, la palabra que le sigue a eso empieza con un sonido vocal o un sonido de consonante. La, lo, la regla que les di es the apple, the banana. Esa es la regla. Acuérdate de esa regla, ¿ok? Very good. Excellent. All right. Ok, so let's see. Then, um, what is the uh, the reading about uh, Gabriela Cortez? It's uh, like an act when when I stayed in the restaurant and I I I have a. Uh, uh, Rulers. Rulers. What do you mean, rulers? Uh, for example, uh, don't see a cell phone when. Oh, rules. Rules. Yes. Rules. 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 Oh, okay. So, okay. Rules. Very good, excellent. And Claudia Iraeta, what is the reading about? Um, 
reading about uh, rules from your cell phone in public places. In public places, right? What to do and what not to do whenever you are using your cell phone in public places, right? Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, we're gonna check, uh, we're gonna do the exercise and this one says uh, check the statements the writer will probably agree with. And it says, you should never use a cell phone in a public places. Cell phones users are very rude people. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. You can use a cell phone in a public if you speak quietly. Quietly, si habla despacio, ¿verdad? Don't shout into the phone. It says no grite, el teléfono. Don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. ¿Y okay, cuáles son las que vamos a marcar en estas? Number six. Six. Number six. Number, six. Number two. Three. Three. Seven. Only, only four. Seven. Number eight. Number one. Two, no. Number one. Number one. Is yes. that what the writer says? Yes. Eight. You should never use a cell phone in public. 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 Okay, number eight. Okay, uh, and it's okay to talk to the phone. And uh, number four and number five is out, right? But he yeah. only, only four covered. On uh, number two is out, teacher. Cell phone uh, users are very rude people, yes? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. So don't okay. shout. There are more. Number four. one. Yeah, number one, because it, the, the writer doesn't say that you shouldn't uh, never use a cell phone in a public. It doesn't say that. No, nunca dijo que no deberías usar teléfono en público. Tienes que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? You have to... So we have three, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. All right. I didn't. Okay, let's see if they're correct. And let's see. Yes, they are correct. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, let's start the exam then. Listen to the conversation. It says listen to the conversations. Uh, listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information so what we need to do is to listen for the information and then we are going to check uh, what information is the correct when Wes invitation and Wes excuse okay and we have also Rita twice all right let's uh, listen for the information listen to two telephone conversations Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at six. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Okay, so what is uh, Wes' invitation? Where is she inviting him to? Beach party. Beach party. Beach to party. a beach party. To a beach party. And uh, Amy and Terry, um, who is... Who are going to be there? Mm 
who are going to be there? Yes, the work at the site. Yes, the work. Yeah. work uh, he starts work at work 6 p.m. And who is going to be at the party? Dance performance. Okay. Now listen to Rita. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Ah, are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Oh, bye. Okay, what uh, was Rita invited to? Dance she was from all day. So she, she was uh, invited to a dance party. Very good. And uh, is she is going to be able to go, or she doesn't like sport, or she doesn't feel well, or what is she going to do? She needs to, she needs to study for a test. Yeah, she won't go able to go because she needs to study for a test. Okay, very good. Okay, good job, excellent. Now let's go to part uh, number two. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences. Okay, complete the conversations, use the correct form of the verbs, read each one carefully, so you can get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. So let's see, the first one says, what do you, Plan to plan to do tonight. So what do you plan to do tonight? Okay, number two, uh, B it says I home want to stay want to stay okay. home. I want to stay stay home. Stay home. There's a soccer match on TV. Very good. Number two, it says, what are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? I'm sorry? Going to, going to do. Going, yes. It's the future, right? Tomorrow is a word that means uh, future time. Going to do, yes. What are you and Dave going to do? What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? All right. Part B, we a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. We would like, we to, would have. like to have. Yeah, we use the auxiliary verb, would, like, yes. and the to. infinitive verb, to have. To yes, have. we would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Very good. Number three. What do you hope to do? Hope, hope, to, do. hope to do after graduation. Yes. ¿Y qué podemos hacer para que sea más fácil? Ah, no era para mí. Ok, I'm sorry. Ok, next is B, I would love to travel. I good, good love to travel. Good. I would. Good. Good. Oh, so good. Good. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, wood. Oh, wood. Oh, I'm good. sorry. Wood. Please wood. Good. Wood. Oh, good. No good. Okay. Wood. Oh, wood. Okay. Wood. Wood. 
would love to travel. Yes, I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Okay, very good. So we have uh, plan to do, want to stay, going to, would like to have, hope to do, and would love to travel. Again, excellent. Good job. Let's go to the next one. The next one is here called the correct word. So in this case, we are going to, we're not going to circle the correct, no, we're going to check. Well, oh, the circle, okay. So circle the correct word. There are lots of beautiful trees in this. Forest. This is about Forest. places. What is a waterfall? Cascada. Cascada, yes. And a sea? Ocean. El mar, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, el mar. Yeah. Ocean sería el océano. Yeah. Y el forest sería qué? Bosque. El bosque, yes. But there are lots of beautiful trees. Trees are in the forest. Very good. Number two. Desert. Hello? Desert. Desert, yes. Estaba esperando, no estaba esperando la, la, la grabadora que me contestó. Estaba esperando que dijeran desert. Yes, porque tenemos a, a veces tenemos ese acento, decir desert y desert. Yeah. Desert es cuando lleva las dos S, se prolonga más el nombre. Oiga, desert. Y desert es con una, es más corta la S. De ahí es como la reconocemos, ¿ya? Yeah. Desert and desert. Ese sería desert, ¿verdad? A, a desert is a very hot and dry place. Very good. Traten de decir ustedes para yo poder ayudarles, ¿ok? Uh, number three. It's always higher mountain. than a valley. So, a mountain is always higher yes. than a valley. Very good. A mountain. 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 Mountain, 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 mountain is always mountain. higher than a valley. Yes. A mountain. Very good. Now we're gonna choose the correct word or phrase. We're gonna go tell and to tell. Please. Tell. Tell. Tell, tell, tell Mary, there is a school party there on Sunday. Party Very on good. Sunday. Would you ask Bill? To bring. To bring, yes. The concert ticket tonight. The concert tickets tonight, yes. Very good. Could you tell? Could tell. you tell? Yes. Could you tell Dana no. that the movie starts the movie start. at 8.15? Very good. Excellent. Good job. And let's go to uh, part D, which is complete the sentences. Complete the, the conversation with would, will, I'd, or I'll. Remember, the, remember that I'd is the, the contraction of would, I would, and uh, I'll is the contraction of I will. I will. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what do we eat? The fried chicken? Yes. What would you like? What to would? Eat? Yes. Would. Yes. Podemos poner what would you like? What will you like to eat? Only would. No, verdad? No, 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 no daría. What would you like? Yes. What would you like? Okay. So sería what would you like to eat? Would. The fried chicken. Very good. Number two. I'll. I'll. What kind of potatoes would you like? I'll have the mashed potatoes. I'll. 
I'll or I will, right? I'll or I will, right? Okay, number three. I would. Please, I would. Okay, please, I would. Anything to drink? Yes, please. I would like some water. Number four. Anything else? No, that will be all. That will be all. Yes, yeah, that would be all. That would be all. Yes. That would be all. Very good. Now, complete each sentence with the correct form of the adjective. Choose between comparative and superlative. Okay, remember, comparative, when we have two, we're comparing two things, and superlative, when we are comparing one thing against all other. So which city is Buenos Aires or Lima? How many things are we comparing over here? More crowded. How many things Two are things. we comparing here? Two things. Two things, yes. Two things. So, and is the adjective is one syllable or more than two syllables? More two syllables. Okay, so we're gonna use more crowded, right? Crowded. Crowded, yes. More crowded. Very good. Crowded. Very good. Number two. Okay, Disney World the most famous. Okay, Disney World is the most famous. The most, yes. The most famous. Famous. The most famous, very good. Amusement park in the world. And number three, what is? What longest. Longest, okay. Is that correct? They're longest. Yes, remember that when we are using the uh, superlative, Objectives, we need to put the word that. Yes, that is a must. If you leave that one out, then it's not correct. Cuando estamos nosotros usando superlativos, tenemos que poner la palabra da. Eso, eso tiene que ser. Si usted la deja fuera, entonces no es correcto. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos comparando uno contra todos. Y estamos diciendo que ese es el mejor de todos. En este caso, entre Amazon. Uh, Danube in Nile. What is the longest river in the world? Very good. Excellent. Good job. Tenemos esta. Would you like to drink? Yes, please. With the contraction. Hmm? With the contraction. I'd. Okay. I'd. So I did. No le gustó la I would. Pero estaba correcta, ¿verdad? Estaba correcta, nada más que la, la plataforma no la tiene eh, así de la forma larga. La tiene eh, contracted. Pero estábamos correctos, ¿ok? So, very good. Now let's see. Instruction. Look at each message. Complete the request, placing the name is, is in parentheses. Ahí está mal escrito. Uh, complete the request, placing the name in parentheses in its correct position. Remember, capital letters, question marks, and periods when necessary. Okay. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk, we're gonna pay attention to the punctuation. Okay. So. This is an example. It says the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please. 
tell Ken the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. So that is an example, or you can say Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. So both of them are correct. So that is an example. So let's uh, uh, see, let's try to do our own. The test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell. Please tell Ken the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Okay, test. Thursday. Is at. Is at. Ah, oh, perdón. Is at. Is at 1 p.m. Okay. Okay, everybody agree with this? Please tell Ken the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. ¿Todos están de acuerdo? Yes, teacher. Okay, también le podíamos poner la palabra that, ¿verdad? Please, can, please, please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Yes. All right, let's uh, number two. Anybody? Tatiana? Like this? Anybody else? Hello? Yes? Meet me after class. Would you tell, would you ask uh, Alex to meet me after? Alex, uh -huh, meet to meet me after class today. After class today. Okay. Question, Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Yes. So, could, would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Okay, very good. It looks great. It looks good. And number three, there's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell... Hello? Could you tell... Marcus, could you tell Marcus there's there's a volleyball a volleyball game tonight? Question mark. Volleyball game. Tonight, question well, mark, okay. Volleyball with, with volleyball, double tail. Yes. Yes, volleyball. And there's, come again, there's. Yes. Okay, very good. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask. Paula, come to the Pini on Saturday. Okay. Please ask Paula. You say come. You say please tell us Paula come to the picnic. Hello? On Saturday? On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, that's it? Question mark. Paula. Question mark. Okay. Okay. Please. Paula. Paula. To come. 
Yes, to come. To come. Very, yes, to come. Very good. Don't leave out uh, to come because remember this one is, is the yes. infinitive verb. So it has to, must have two in front yes. of it. So please ask Paula to come to the picnic. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see how we did. Okay, we have uh, Paula to come to the picnic. Uh, the question mark. With this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Whenever you say the, whenever you have please, you don't use the question mark. Okay. okay very good. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. <clears throat> so we have the read, we're gonna read the article, then answer the question. I'm gonna read the article for you and you just follow me uh, with your eyes, okay? Everyone knows that uh, that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. On the west side of the island, the weather in sunny, Kaulua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80 Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 Fahrenheit in the summer. It only goes down to 64 Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 Fahrenheit in the summer. The ko uh, koala area in the north of the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain a year. On the east side, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain per year. It's the wettest city in the United States. All that rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. Water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world, any time of the year. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, we are going to answer the questions uh, in regard to this uh, reading. What is Hawaii? It's a city, it's a state, an island, a state, and an island. A state and an island. It's a state and an island, right? A big island. It's a state, the same name, state and island. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic, Arctic. tropical, mountain, or desert? Arctic, right? Arctic. Arctic, very good. And how hot it get in Kaulua Kona in the winter? 80. 80? Everybody agree? 80 Fahrenheit? 80. 80 Fahrenheit, right? It doesn't have the F, but this Fahrenheit. 80 Fahrenheit. Where does it rain the most? In the north, in the south, in the east, or in the west? In the east. In 
the east. In the, the east. east. In the east. Okay, let's submit this one and see how we did. 25 out of 25. Okay, very good. Any question in regard to the exam? No? Okay, we still have, a ten, uh, let's see, six minutes. I'm, I'm going to help um, one, uh, uh, one of you to um, remember he asked me about uh, neither and either, neither and either, neither and either. What's the difference? Well, the, both of them are the, to um, like the, to contrast or to agree to the statement uh, that we have done, that we have uh, given. Um, los dos están para, para aceptar o contradecir eh, lo que hemos dicho uh, en alguna oración. Por ejemplo, si tenemos aquí, eh, si tenemos espacio y tenemos... Um, Mm, we go, we go now, comma, or we stay, we stay, okay? Si tuviéramos este statement aquí, ¿qué palabra usaríamos aquí? ¿Usaríamos el neither o el either? En este caso, en este caso, eh, either sería cuando nosotros, le voy a poner aquí, neither lo usamos nosotros cuando queremos uh, eh, excluir algo o decir ninguno, cuando queremos decir tampoco o cuando queremos decir uh, o excluir algo. Eso usamos el el neither y el either lo usamos para cuando nosotros queremos eh, por ejemplo queremos decir cualquiera cualquiera o queremos in, incluir 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 o queremos incluir algo sí eso lo usamos el neither en este caso tenemos we Go o we stay. En este caso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Estamos uh, teniendo, dando una opción por la palabra or. Or nos da una opción de estar aquí o estar allá. Entonces, en este caso, se estaría diciendo como, como incluyendo, ¿verdad? Incluyendo este o lo otro. Sería, we go now or we stay. En este caso, si dijéramos neither, estaríamos excluyendo y no estamos excluyendo nada, sino que estamos dando una opción donde nos incluimos nosotros mismos. Entonces, la única opción que tenemos aquí de poner sería either, ¿ya? Either, cualquiera, ¿ya? ya sea que nos vamos o nos quedamos, ¿ya? Either we go now or we stay, ¿sí? Ahí usamos la palabra either, cuando queremos nosotros en incluir algo o, o incluimos al otro de lo que está hablando la oración. Ahora, si tenemos esta oración, you, nor, la palabra nor excluye, hay, ¿sí? La palabra nor excluye. ¿Y cuál es neither. la palabra que us y cuál es, usamos? ¿El neither o el either para excluir? En este caso dijimos neither. que neither lo usamos para excluir. Entonces, aquí vamos a usar el neither. Neither. Neither you nor I. Entonces, aquí está excluyendo uno, ¿verdad? Ya sea you o el I. En ese caso, por eso usamos el neither. Neither you nor I. Yes. O cuando tenemos otra opción también que podemos decir I can eat, I can, let's see, espacio, eat, eat uh, pupusas, or pizza, 
Aquí en este caso tenemos la palabra or también. Sí, está or. Entonces, I can either. either. Yes, either. I can either eat pupusas or pizza. Cuando tenemos la palabra or, estamos refiriéndonos a una opción. Entonces usamos la palabra either porque estamos incluyendo ya, ya sea esto o ya sea lo otro. Y la palabra or, acuérdense que eso es bien importante. Ahora si tengo esta, my brother, my, espacio, my brother and I yeah, wanted to go, to go, to go. To the Cuscatlan Catlan Park. Okay. My brother and I want, uh, uh, my brother and I wanted to go to the Cuscatlan Park. In este caso, ¿qué iría aquí? ¿Iría either or neither? Neither. Either. Estamos excluyendo. Estamos dando una opción. No, neither. Neither. ok. Neither. Entonces, no opción, estamos neither. excluyendo que ninguno de los, los dos no queremos no. ir. Yes. Entonces decimos: Neither, neither my brother and I wanted to go to the Cuscatlan Park. Ninguno de los dos queremos ir. Entonces ahí no hay ni una opción, ¿ya? sino que los dos dice: Neither my brother and I. El que hace la diferencia es esto, en and I, porque hace una persona. Si aquí estuviéramos or, ya, aquí entonces ya cambia la cosa. Ya no podíamos usar neither, sino que usábamos either. My brother or I wanted to go to the Cuscatlan Park. Ya sería diferente si ponemos el or aquí. ¿Ok? Entonces sería el neither my brother or I. Ni mi hermano ni yo. Queríamos ir al, al parque Cuatlán. ¿Sí? Ni mi hermano ni yo. Ni mi hermano ni yo, sí. Ajá. Ajá. Ok. All right. Espero que esto les haya ayudado un poquito más. Y um, gracias por eh, estar siempre atentos a las clases. Eh, han sido un grupo muy bueno. Hemos venido caminando desde, 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 desde bastantes... Uh, kilómetros y eh, han improved bastante gracias por todo ese esfuerzo que han puesto y la parte la participación que han tenido en las lecturas me he dado cuenta que eh, han eh, como uh, improve o sea han mejorado bastante su su lectura así es que les uh, les incito a que sigan leyendo a que sigan eh, participando en las en las uh, uh, otras clases que vienen y que cuando les toque eh, su participación de lectura o a dar algún, algún ejemplo, participen porque eso es lo que les va a ayudar a aprender todavía más, ¿ok? A pesar de, de que están cansados, yo sé que vienen de trabajo y quieren ya, ya comer y todo eso, eh, les entiendo y eh, han hecho un gran esfuerzo. Así que felicitaciones a todos uh, Gracias, y nos José vemos Oliver. en el otro en el otro módulo Gracias. nos vemos y si no Thank you, eh, mucha you, suerte okay? por explanación de mi vida gracias por tu dedicación gracias por tu dedicación gracias por tu dedicación bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.